How do you deliver a five-star onboarding process? In today's video, I want to talk to you about onboarding. The process from when somebody signs up right the way through to them having everything that they need for the first 28 days to achieve that primary goal. Now, when I speak to coaches, one of the first things that they'll tell me is that the onboarding process, the client comes back with so many questions. It's so frustrating that they've got this question and that question, and it takes me so much time going backwards and forwards. And I have this saying that I've used for many, many years, that if you repeat yourself, you record it, but remember this, if your client is unhappy during the first 28 days, it's actually more to do with your service delivery than it is with them being confused with the process. The process should be effortless and easy. I like traveling, I like flying. And if you've ever traveled well, the process of booking to receiving your tickets, to doing the boarding card, to boarding pass, to getting to the airport, to be, to going through to bags, coming off the plane, collection, that process is constantly, depending on the level that you travel at, constantly being refined to make the customer experience the best that it can possibly be. In a hotel, when you book, when you arrive, if you're used to being staying in any five-star hotels, which I always encourage, a part of your income should be on actually experiencing high-level service. Because if you arrive at a hotel and you go to the reception and you get what you need, you get what you keys, you go up, you expect the room to be ready, you expect everything to be on time, you've got to look at your coaching business as five-star. So if you travel well, you know, it pays to save some money up and travel business class once, you know, and really push yourself and say, you know what, I'm gonna travel. I'm gonna work towards earning a certain amount of money that I can and see what it's like at the highest level of service. See what it's like at the highest level of five star, staying in hotels. It's something that I've done throughout my whole career to see what touch points people are providing within their business. So when it comes to you, for you, I'm gonna talk through five or six points that I think are really, really important. There's always more depending on your business, but these are key areas that I think you should consider. Number one is you should make a very simple payment process. So if somebody said, yep, yeah, I'm gonna work with you and say, okay, what I need you to do is to go onto your bank, I need you to go onto a transfer app, I need you to send me the money and I'll tell you when that's in my bank account. When that's in my bank, it's like, uh, 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 uh. Something such as Stripe payment link, done. They click a link, they make a payment, it's simple. You can integrate your Stripe with something such as Active Campaign, an email software. And when somebody joins, they receive a welcome email. Hi, Mark, I'm your coach. I'm delighted that you're joining the coaching program. Now there's a few things that I want to go through with you. A few things that I'd like you to understand about the coaching process. So you would need a welcome video in the first email. Now, if it's going to be two or three days between the person receiving the email and maybe receiving the program, make sure it's very, very clear when things are going to be happening. Maybe there's a follow-up email on day two that's introducing your clients to an exercise library, a membership area, a Facebook group, however you're going to facilitate them through the journey. You've got to make things very automated, simple, to be efficient for you and make sure that your clients at no point are left guessing what's next, what's next. 28 days you have to make an impression. Psychologist, sports psychologist told me once that that first 28 days is, is crucial because if as a psychologist they're working with somebody and they don't get any degree of progress, they'll start wondering and looking to other people for advice. It happens in coaching. Ever got to a point where your client turns around to you within the first two or three weeks and goes, so I was talking to a friend of mine and, well, that's because you're not delivering what they wanted from the coaching program. You must be on time with your delivery of the program and the nutrition. You have a very short window in 28 days to provide uh, a, or to align yourself with their expectations. Directing your clients specifically when you send the program on the exact time to where they can follow 
a welcome series, which will talk to them about the basics of cooking nutrition, the basics of understanding exercise, and library of exercises. And you direct them to what they need to see, direct them to live group calls that they're gonna be on, direct them through email, through to a Facebook group. The educational process that your clients go through must be very, very clear. You must communicate that. Now, the next thing you need to consider about consider is expectations, a video explaining coaching expectations between you and the client. As your coach, my expectations of myself are to be on time with your check-ins, to do this, to do that, to do this. My expectations of myself is that I provide you with clear instructions every step of the way so that you are not left guessing. But my expectations of you is that you're on time with your check-ins, you communicate with me, you actually do the work, you give 110%. Rather than you missing all this out and the client's unsure of all the expectations, it's very, very important that you lay this part of the journey out. And the final thing I'll say in this video is that in that 28 days, what is the most important thing that you, the client, want to experience? Honestly, if I could achieve this at the end of 28 days, I'll be over the moon. As long as it's aligned with their expectations or it's realistic, so they want to drop six pounds. They want to feel a particular way. They want to improve their fitness in a particular way. They want to learn more skills around nutrition. Get a very clear understanding from them what they want out of that first 28 days. Like it's not even a sprint, it's a, this is your first 28 days. What do you want to see from me? Write it all down, make sure you meet their expectations. So as a coach, you want to have a very simple payment system aligned with something such as Active Campaign or MailChimp that actually sends a series of emails that gives them a very, very clear indication of exactly what's happening and when. Coach and client expectations, direction to Facebook groups, directions to websites to learn, have a database, a, 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 a hub of information. You want to make sure that they are very, very clear with, you're clear with what goals and expectations they have for the journey for the 28 days and make sure that if you're going to turn up at timings for certain things you say you're going to do them make sure you do them and stay consistent now the onboarding process to so many coaches is avoided to the point where the client joins it's a very underwhelming experience they don't feel valued they don't feel supported and at the end of the 28 days they're starting to think hmm, i wonder if this, i'm in the right place now if you're watching this video right now and you think my onboarding system could be so much more. We go into so much more depth of the onboarding process inside our coaching concierge program, where we help coaches build the foundations and systems in their business to achieve consistent five to seven K months. We also help coaches who are already achieving 10 K plus per month online and are looking to build better systems. They're looking to build a team and build their dream life. Now, if you, after listening to this, know that onboarding and service and systems is something that you want to have more of in your business and you'd like our help, make sure you go to the description box, click on the links, find out more information. We'd love to hear from you. But for now, make sure you click like, click subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.